this because I have dress rehearsal. And um, I just didn't have time to just not get in costume and makeup. So come see the show. It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 o'clock. It's $7 for adults. It's really good. And here we go. Here we go. Um, so we're doing, or I'm only Wars. This is for Wars. I'm Ellie. And uh, we're doing the Apollo missions. Um, so it says Virgil, Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee. These were the astronauts of the Apollo 1 mission, which was very tragic. Apollo 1 happened January 27, 1967. Um, the plugs-out test um, is a test to see if the spacecraft would operate by itself on internal power, meaning no cables, a pressurized cabin, very similar to a launch test, but not on the launch pad. Um, the, test, the test was considered to not be dangerous because the spacecraft was not loaded with fuel or cryogenics, and all the explosive bolts were disabled. Um, so it just it was supposed to be just another routine test. Um, so the fire started after an increase in electricity. Nine seconds after that, Grissom called that there was a fire in the cockpit. Three seconds later, Chaffee announced, we've got a fire in, a co in the cockpit. And after 7.8 seconds of silence, five seconds of agony were recorded and ended with cries of pain. Um, all three of them suffered third-degree burns on one-third to half of their bodies, um, which sadly caused their deaths. Um, so then NASA started to investigate. They're like, why did this happen? This should never have happened. Um, so the major causes of this accident were identified as five things. Um, ignition, an ignition source being vulnerable to wire, a pure oxygen atmosphere at sea level, a cabin sealed with a hatch cover which can be removed at high pressures, combustible materials in the cabin, and in inadequate emergency procedures. Ultimately, it was because of Velcro in that high oxygen environment, and um, it was just a shame that we just didn't know that that was going to happen. Um, so. NASA investigated this, um, and then soon senators and everyone were getting involved. So Walter Mondale, a senator of Minnesota, was very much against the Apollo program after this. And he was like, we should be spending our money on other things. We don't have time to be spending money on things that are just going to be killing the astronauts. We need to spend money on almost anything else that's going to be beneficial for us. But uh, Frank Foreman, uh, he is an astronaut that I'll talk about later, but he served on the investigative board for NASA, and he talked and he um, he supported NASA, and he was like, you know what, we know the risks that we're taking when we become astronauts, and it's just, we know the risks, and it's sad what happened, but we still have to go, to, we still have to continue with what we're doing. Um, so here are some pictures. So this is after um, the hatch and everything had burned and everything. This is just what they were positioned. Um, so the fallen content is extremely um, graphic, and if you, I mean, look away if you, I don't know what else to say. I'm looking away if you don't. The camera for the It'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, turn off the recording. 